Good evening. After a weekend that brought us some positively balmy weather with temperatures of 20 degrees Celsius in the northeast of Scotland on Saturday, then across parts of eastern England on Sunday, it's very difficult at the moment to imagine that the weekend ahead may bring us scenes more like these across some northern hills. And I think we're all going to be reaching for some warmer clothing, a biting northerly wind and an arctic blast on the way. All thanks to this area of high pressure, which will change orientation in the days ahead and eventually bring our air in from the Arctic. At the moment, though, the lines lie west to east, and that means the air is coming in from the Atlantic, so a relatively mild source. To the south, though, tonight with clearer skies and a lighter breeze, one or two areas may see temperatures drop down to just two or three degrees, with a risk of a touch of ground frost, a little bit of mist and fog returning as well. To the north, always more cloud around, more of a breeze, and temperatures in many spots in Scotland staying in double figures. Some heavy rain there to the north through Tuesday morning. That will get moving, pushing its way further south, largely affecting western Scotland, getting into southern Scotland, I think, mid-morning. Shelter in the east, though, and a little bit of brightness. Could see the temperatures here soaring up once again for Tuesday afternoon. A high of 17 possible in Aberdeen. To the south, it's drier, it's brighter, a little milder than today, 15 in London. Much windier than today, though, for northern England, northern Ireland and Scotland. For the middle of the week, we lose the rain from Scotland. The wind will ease a little as well. A largely dry day with hazy spells of sunshine. Thursday, pretty similar story. If anything, perhaps the rain in the northwest pepping up a little. Largely light winds, some high cloud around. Best of the clear blue skies and sunshine to the south and the east. Our temperatures, well, still about where they should be for the time of year, perhaps a degree or so down on Wednesday. But it's Thursday into Friday that the big change starts to come about. We start to lose that westerly fetch, that Atlantic air, and open the floodgates to the Arctic. The yellow subsides to the blue, and that cold plunge will make its way across the UK, accompanied by some biting northerly winds as well. So we may well see some snow across northern hills. There'll be some showers around the coast. A lot of fine weather on the whole, but the biggest change will be how much colder it feels and that biting northerly wind.